Hello, I'm Ron Clark. After my last video, uh, my part two of my commentary on KTQ, in which I compare KTQ to Book of Aries, I decided that it's time I say something about Book of Aries. It's been a year now since uh, it was released. So, <clears throat> I'm going to do a three or four part um, videos um, about the Book of Aries. Today, I'm going to talk about the introduction briefly and uh, the structure and then the preparation. So the book itself is separated into introduction, a treatise on the Catholic brilliance, what it is, how it arises, etc. And then a diagram, which is just titled The Structure, which is very important. Then the next section is called Preparation. Uh, these are th things that you need to have accomplished before you can really begin uh, the Path of Brilliance, which is the next section, which is training in generating the Adonai light and then generating the Catholic brilliance, um, <clears throat> opening the channels that, that allow that to happen and becoming proficient in the uh, projection, the, the generation and projection of both of these lights. Then the last section is on the magic of essential meaning proper. And that, that's the part um, here that is totally new. Um, the preparation basically follows a uh, love letter to a dying world. It has the same structure, covers the same territory as that does. The um, path of brilliance is a combination of the magic of yod heh vav -He adonai TMO, and the self-healing Archaeus. Um, the only difference is the... Um, the canticle is removed from the practice. It's very hermetic practice, okay? It's not a Hebrew practice. Um, so magic of essential meaning work is all new material. It's not based on anything I've written before, okay? So <clears throat> the introduction, yeah, it's interesting, worth reading. <laughs> not really worth commenting on other than I have a section here that explains the Catholic brilliance what it is how it arises etc now it's these are things I've written before and spoken of before in videos I'll try to put a link in the description of this video to the video I have on the Catholic brilliance okay so after that explanation, there is a diagram, and I present it here. So this diagram is uh, based on the Gras Tree of Life. Um, <clears throat> it is the structure of the cosmos, of existence itself, and of everything that exists. Um, that is, for me, the real beauty of the Gras Tree, that it is a workable uh, diagram of the structure of things, specifically the structure of awareness, of consciousness, of the I. This is the structure of existence, okay? What we have here, what I've shown and emphasized here, is specifically the ladder of awareness, starting with the I and coming all the way down to our physical awareness, okay? 
And there are several uh, levels in that. And I define seven different levels of awareness that then must be addressed in the preparation work which, as I said, follows Love Letter to a Dying World. Now, this diagram, on the central pillar here, there are numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Those are what I, in this next section, preparation, call the stations. They're the seven stations of awareness. And we have to deal with with each of these stations in all of our work with the magic of essential meaning. The path of brilliance, it's every part of it deals with these sections because this is a magic of awareness itself and what we are going to do with our awareness in terms of consciously and intentionally integrating these seven levels of awareness and moving about, you know, using them intentionally with full magical uh, intention, okay? So we're not using symbols here. This is not like KTQ. This is not a magic of symbols. This is a magic rooted solely in your perception, your judgment, your valuation. It's all about you. It's not about a foreign set of symbols at all. Okay? So... <clears throat> This is a diagram that you have to study <laughs> and become very familiar with uh, so that you understand how things are structured and specifically how your awareness is structured. Okay? So, <clears throat> preparation. As I said, it's based on love letter to a dying world. Um, I also... Well, in there I define, the, I follow the raw tree of life again. Um, here I have simplified it essentially, uh, and to some extent summarized it, because I have assumed that the reader of the person going into this book with the intention of practicing it will have um, finished step eight of initiation into hermetics. So that's the perspective from which I have written it. So there are five of these stages, basically. There is no additional work for you to do in preparation if you have completed step eight of initiation into hermetics. The two exceptions are the first and the second stage. The first stage is the I. Recognizing, experiencing, uh, being the I. The I, okay? And the second station is the perception, the direct perception of essential meaning. Both of these are not really covered in initiation into hermetics, especially at step eight, okay? The I um, becomes uh, the focus in steps nine and ten, okay? But at no point does Barden uh, directly uh, address the direct perception of essential meaning. Um, it seems to me inevitable that you will have encountered this, that you will have perceived essential meaning perhaps 
not understanding it as an essential meaning per se, but you will have had this experience, so it should be very easy for you, as with the eye. Um, it should be very simple for you to recognize the eye and make contact with it. Um, so, I will, <clears throat> I will put a link in the description below this video of uh, to my video about love letter to a dying world uh, the section which I talk about the eye the very first video now for the direct perception of essential meaning I've spoken a lot about this over the years um, <clears throat> and I speak a little bit uh, about it here uh, and uh, in Love Letter to a Dying World, it's part of the curricula. Uh, but I also did a special video just on essential meaning and the direct perception of essential meaning. And I think it's a pretty good video as an introduction to the whole concept and to the experience of directly perceiving essential meaning. So I will put a link to that video in the uh, description below. Okay. Now, <clears throat> if you're approaching this book without having um, achieved step eight of initiation in Hermetics, there is a pathway in here that does not require initiation in Hermetics at all. Um, and that is Love Letter to a Dying World pursuing the exercises in there, mastering the exercises in there, the magic of yod he vav -He adonai mastering that which is working with the Adonai light in a way that opens those channels of the seven stations of awareness and works with them, you become <clears throat> adept at traveling between them and integrating them, and eventually leads to working with the Catholic brilliance. Alternately, there is the self-healing archaeus, which will take you to the same place, specifically the place where you begin working with the Catholic brilliance. So, <clears throat> there is pathways into it, it probably take just as long as pursuing initiation into Hermetics through Step 8. I recommend initiation into Hermetics, you know, as the best method. Um, but there's more than one way to skin the cat, as they say. Okay, <clears throat> so the preparation work, you will need to right off the bat, um, master this work with the eye. And then right after that, you're going to need to master the work with the direct perception of essential meaning. And that's basically it for preparation. After that, comes the path of brilliance. Um, <clears throat> which I'll talk about in the next video, okay? Um, so, I hope that was a, um, a workable introduction for you. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.